Hello, hello, my friends. I have another dedicated candle review for you today. We are going to be talking about Bath & Body Works Roasted Sesame. Now, this candle has been available, I would say, for about the last month or so, maybe a little bit longer than that. This is part of the Bath & Body Works collaboration or celebration of Asian American Pacific Islander Month. This is where they have collaborated with um, fragrance specialists and designers who are of AAPI descent and just honoring their contributions to the fragrance community. So um, this is in their standard three wick, 14 and a half ounce vessel. We've got this beautiful kind of, um, I wouldn't call it an ombre effect. It kind of looks more ombre to be honest when the candle is lit right here. Um, but we've kind of got this like pale kind of peachy coral type of packaging. We've got um, a little bit of a blurb here on the front, which you guys can read. So, well, I assume that a lot of you guys can. Maybe I shouldn't make that assumption. Um, it says, sweet and black sesame is at the heart of a traditional and historic Korean dessert. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that because I know I'll butcher that. That is very special to me. Like a carefully crafted fragrance, its creation is a true labor of love. I'm surprised you guys at these 40 year old eyes were able to read that through the viewfinder. <laughs> All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about this candle. The fragrance notes or the accords listed are very simple. Roasted sesame, toasted hazelnut, and sweet maple. Now I do believe that there has been a little bit of a hullabaloo in the candle community that a lot of people believe that this is pumpkin peanut brittle repackaged. I never had that fragrance to begin with you guys. So I personally cannot say yes or no, if this is a repackage. I know that there are a lot of other reviewers in the community um, who probably have more familiarity with that. So I will default to them to let you guys know, but all I can tell you is what my nose is smelling right now. All right, so this fragrance to me is very, um, it's kind of nutty, it's savory, but I do get a touch of sweetness to this, which would probably be that sweet maple accord. However, um, very similar to like I was giving in the review of Homeworks' Salted Soft Pretzel yesterday, um, the maple accord in here, uh, by the way, that candle doesn't have maple listed, it has fennel, which can have some maple-like qualities. Uh, the maple in here is not overly sweet and cloying. Um, in fact, it's not really at the forefront. Um, I definitely get a hint of sweetness in this candle, but there is the uh, savory nuttiness, which really is kind of at the forefront of this candle. That's really what my nose detects. Do I think it smells like peanut butter? No. And it says toasted hazelnut. Honestly, you guys, I don't really cook enough where I could tell you that, yes, this definitely smells like roasted sesame or toasted hazelnut, but there is a nuttiness to this candle that it's not like a peanut butter per se. Um, the nuttiness in here is definitely a savory fragrance that I'm really enjoying, to be honest with you guys. I think that this is one that if you head into your local Bath & Body Works store, pick it up, smell it, um, because it's a really nice fragrance. Now, that being said, this candle to me is more of one that I see myself burning more towards the end of summer. Right now, you guys, with me being a seasonal burner, I definitely am craving more fruity, coconut, beachy, type of fragrances. So um, this is one that I've actually kind of enjoyed burning on the occasional cloudy morning, like the morning that I'm filming this, we have some overcast skies, but it definitely has me thinking more, um, more in line for the end of summer when I am starting to feel ready to transition into fall fragrances, but I'm not yet quite ready for all of the pumpkin and the apple and all of those fragrances. Um, if you caught my salted soft pretzel review from Homeworks yesterday, then you will know that um, this candle, uh, I'm gonna give some very similar fragrance pairings as I did in that review. So this candle does pair really nicely with that salted soft pretzel. Um, this also pairs really nicely with Kringle Candles Sweet and Savory. And it also goes really nicely with Kringle Candles um, their fresh baked bread. I, of those three candles, I would say that this one, I think when I smelled it on cold sniff, 
it reminded me a little bit of the Kringle Candle Sweet and Savory. So if you have that candle in your collection, or maybe if you've been eyeing that fragrance and you know what this roasted sesame smells like, um, and you like the fragrance profile of, again, that sweet and savory balance, then I think that you would like the Kringle one as well. So I feel like that was a, a long way of saying there's quite a few fragrances that I think would complement this one. Um, and they're all, what they have in common is that they are very balanced out between a hint of sweetness, um, but there is that savory, nutty, bready type of accord going on with it. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the performance of this candle because that is really where Bath & Body Works um, can have its ups and downs with me. Honestly, you guys, Bath & Body Works, it's usually never really the fragrances that I have an issue with. It's usually the burn quality um, and yeah, pretty much burn quality. So, so far, you guys, I am at, I'm not quite at the halfway point on this candle. I am at about a third of the way through the burn on this one. You can see that it has those thick tree stump type of wicks, but the flames so far are pretty good for me. And they're, the candle itself, the wax is not sooty. Um, I have not trimmed the wicks on this. They've been self-trimming. And even the wax pool, if you look at that, it's not really dirty or sooty. So I would say so far, this one is burning pretty cleanly for me. Now, if you want to see how this burns all the way down, truth be told, you guys, this is one that I probably will put away towards the end of summer. But if you're subscribed to my channel, then you know that I do do monthly empties videos. Um, and that's where I give you guys the update on how a candle completely burned for me. And you can then also see what the vessels look like at the end of the burn. But so far, so good on this one. And like I said, I'm at about a third of the way down. Um, I guess I should knock on wood, but um, most of my recent Bath & Body Works candles that I have purchased, I have not been having issues with puny wicks midway through. So I'm hoping that that will remain true for this candle as well, because I'm really actually enjoying this fragrance. So strength and throw on this one, you guys, I'm going to give it, um, I'm going to give this one probably a solid eight um, without a hurricane on it. When I put a hurricane on it, uh, bumps up the projections a little bit more. It'll project maybe more so of like a nine. Um, but this one, honestly, you guys, I haven't really found it necessary to put a hurricane on it. I think the fragrance profile of this candle, um, being that it is more of a dense gourmand fragrance, um, I think that that in and of itself gives it a higher chance of being a quote unquote stronger performer in comparison to say like a vanilla, you know, vanilla is a lot harder to make very strong. They can, they still can project, but, um, I think just the very nature of the fragrance oils of this candle is going to make it a, um, just a higher performer. If you're curious to know the layout of my home, the age, environmental factors, all of those things. I do have that in the description box down below. So that way you know where I am coming from in terms of ranking this candle. I do tend to put candles in a hurricane, especially in my living room, because that is more open concept with higher ceilings. And, um, you know, that's where I generally kind of want to have like an anchor fragrance in my home, but then sometimes I'll burn candles in my bedrooms as well. And then, um, usually I don't need a hurricane in the bedrooms because it's lower ceilings and smaller, more closed concept type of a style. But you guys, this candle does get two thumbs up for me. I'm really enjoying it. In fact, I would, I would dare to say, let me put it this way. If I didn't have a a channel where I am constantly reviewing new products, um, having to kind of have a focus on that with my collection. I only have so much room for my candle collection. Um, I would definitely consider repurchasing this one. I could see myself actually probably buying one more of these candles to have in the fall and winter, um, just because I, that Kringle candle, that sweet and savory that I have is a pretty large vessel and I'm always looking for a fragrance that will complement it. So I do see myself purchasing another one of these candles. I don't see myself purchasing like five of them, but um, I do definitely see myself purchasing another one and thoroughly enjoying it throughout the fall and winter months. Um, so let me know in the comment box down below, have you purchased this candle? Have you picked it up at Bath and Body Works and smelled it? What do you think about it? If you have any of the other candles that I've compared it to or said that it's in a similar fragrance family, also feel free to chime in down below and give your opinion on that. I always encourage dialogue among all of you guys, especially because I'm only one member of the candle community. I actually look to a lot of your comments. I look to other reviewers before I make candle purchases 
candle purchases. So um, I think that it's beneficial for us all to have that conversation going. Please hit thumbs up if you found this video helpful. It helps me out with the old YouTube algorithm. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would actually really like it if you did. It helps me out with the old uh, YouTube algorithm with engagement and whatnot. And um, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to YouTube channels, you guys. It's, I know sometimes you hear the word subscribe and you think, oh, I don't wanna have to pay for one more thing in this economy, but it's free. There's, there's, you don't have to pay anything to subscribe to channels. Um, we do have Memorial Day weekend coming up this weekend, and I would fully anticipate that there will be a candle sale. I don't know what the price point would be, but if you happen to wander into your Bath and Body Works or these are still available for uh, Opus, I would definitely consider and give the two thumbs up to throwing this one in your cart. So please, again, hit thumbs up if you found this video helpful. I do want to say thank you so very much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.